Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of I Cut to Planet. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I honestly don't remember what the heck is going to happen in this episode. <laughs> I still want that bear. Wasn't this next episode supposed to be um a beat focus episode or something? That or Cupid? No, it's B. Oh. So you're gonna come out, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Plus, it's up to you if you want to come out. I get the fact that she essentially does not want to come out as B because of the fact is her parents and not a lot of people know um, the person behind the idol. It's the same thing for, you know, Mao and her situation as Hana because eventually Hana's, <laughs> not Hana, Mao is going to have to make an announcement of who she is to everyone and I think once people find out the truth about her we're either going to see fans um retaliate against her and not be fans of hers anymore or accept her as this new person even though um the person who previously was hana um was fans of theirs for like the longest time it's almost like how oh god it <laughs> Okay, um, one of the characters in the original Idol Master series, uh, Yukiho, she got a voice change, like, halfway through the show, and, because of, so, I forgot why, and I loved her original voice, and I watched the movie, how I even did a reaction on it, even though it's not on this channel anymore, um, I, I paused the video to talk about Yukiho's new voice, because she sounds very, really nasally, and such, it's cute, but the very first time, like, I was super annoyed. But I get the fact is why some people still love Yukio, because she is adorable as hell. But, yeah, the the voice, I, I'm, I'm okay with it now, but, like, at the beginning, no. Oh, it's definitely going to be. I don't know how much Mal can eat. Oh, 
told you. You tried though, babe. <laughs> Um, yeah, point system basically. Nice. Please tell me we getting close to Shiori to finally pop up in this bitch. Cause girl. <laughs> oh, beat that sweet. Something tells me she's thinking about it and how she wants to possibly tell everyone that, yeah, she's beat. Of course you are. It's written all over your face. <laughs> I 
how I was too. I was like, wait, how can someone like this also be someone like that? But it's interesting. It's different. That's what I like about her. Like, in a way, Kyoko, when she is herself and not be, um, she's fragile, precious. Like, a, almost like a balloon. Not a balloon. Well, yeah, a balloon. A bubble as well. One little thing can pop. But when she's B, she's free. She doesn't have to worry about being Kyoko. She's different. Tell your parents. I think that's going to be a really hard thing for her to do. That's a pretty house. Like, ooh. Let's see. The yeah, that's so pretty. Oh, she got another chandelier? Like, once you walk in the house? Oh, my God. Rich bitch. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kind of, but no. Well, at least they're fine with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mao. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me.
of right now, each girl has like two. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she has two. Because she has the Pegasus and she has QB. Um, B has. Oh, God. <laughs> what does B have? I don't remember. But yeah, everybody has two. I just, you know, mm. I wonder if it's how it's going to be when somebody gets like four or six. so Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty she is. See, looking at B in her outfit, it just reminds me of a certain idol from Idol Master. And it's like, hmm, should I be her producer? And it's like, no, yes, but like, I'm best girl Kayere, but I could be another producer if I wanted to. But, uh, it's probably going to be Hana. Because, I mean, Hana transformed, so, yeah, it's Hana. You know her parents are at home upset about this, right? Any parent would be for their child. But they both did good. Okay, is Shiori finally getting her ish next week? Like, please, that's all I need. <laughs> Excuse me.
though. No, oh, no, don't be. No, you still did good. Mm hmm. No. I'm glad because honestly at the same time I was like mmm are her parents really going to accept her? Yeah, basically. And how she wants to be one, of course. Hmm? Oh, finally, yes. <laughs> finally, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, it took nine weeks, nine weeks, and they were like, "Yeah, we're finally gonna do it." Come on, Chiodi, join the party. Nine weeks, going on ten. Jesus Christ, like, oh my God, like th that's not cool. To wait nine to almost ten weeks for a freaking character to finally want to become an idol. And I get the fact is that, you know, she needed that confidence in herself. And seeing um, Kyoko, Mao, and Rudy's um, real person do become idols themselves. And, you know, being in the idol industry and everything. And now that she finally decided, I'm so freaking happy. Because now all four of them can do stuff together. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, uh Okay, let's talk a little more about Kyoko. This was a really good episode for her, but I, I was a little afraid that her parents were not going to be into, you know, her being an idol because I, I've seen it in a couple other TV shows for idol shows and how sometimes the parents won't at first accept it, but once they see their child doing something that they really truly love, um, they're okay with it. It's very similar to like um, the Disney movie Ice Princess or any other type of movie where you've had a parent kind of be somewhat your enemy, um, even though they're supposed to be your biggest cheerleader at the end of the day, no matter what, and what you want to do as a career and everything. So, I mean, yeah, I'm happy for her that, you know, she has a parent that supports her because not a lot of people will, not a lot of kids will have that. I have that like I have a pair I have two parents even though they're not together anymore um who still support me in anything that I want to do <laughs> finally just that's all I gotta say is finally because oh I have been waiting for this ever since, like, episode one, episode two, when Shiori was slowly but surely wanting to get into this world. And now that it's finally happening and we're probably going to see her performance next week, I'm honestly really excited. Truly, really, the funny thing is episode 10, I think, is coming out tonight. But by the time you guys see this tomorrow, I think episode 10 should be officially out but not subbed until at least, like, Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this was a really good episode for Kyoko. And I'm glad that, you know, her her parents are happy for her. And I love that. It's super, super good. You want that for any parent. You want that for your, you know, not only the kids, but also the parents, but really more the kids. Because when, if you don't, if a, if a child doesn't have someone to support their hopes and their dreams, how is the child supposed to believe in themselves, you know? But... <sighs> Who knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of I cut No, 9. <laughs> my bad. Episode 8 of I cut Your Planet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next either Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly even Saturday for episode 9. Bye, guys.